You know, there is a tendency in evangelicalism, uh, in post-Reformation uh, theology, uh, that you emphasize faith, but it's a certain kind of faith. It's a certain uh, quality of faith. And, and all of a sudden, it's back to Rome again. It, it's your expression. It, it, it's, it's not an issue like Arminianism uh, that suggested that faith is your own doing uh, in, in a notion, in a semi-Pelagian notion of free will. So, so effectively, you are saved by your free will, your, your cooperative free will with, with God's sovereignty in a semi-Pelagian understanding and an Arminian understanding. And for uh, the Synod of Dort, that was, that was Rome. That, that was just as bad as saying you're saved by the sacramental treadmill of medieval Catholicism. But within evangelicalism, there also uh, arose the tendency to say, you're saved by faith, but what kind of faith? How much faith? Or, or similarly with repentance, that repentance is necessary for salvation, but how much repentance? What quality of repentance? And all of a sudden, it becomes something that you do that, that's, a, that's a plus to the faith. So uh, the Westminster Divines, for example, in the middle of the 17th century, made it very clear uh, that we're saved by faith, uh, but it's, it's, it's not that the faith is just the instrument through which the grace of God operates. It, it can't operate apart from faith. The gospel doesn't operate over our heads. It, it does involve our responsive faith and repentance, which are gifts uh, from God. But, you know, there, there, there arose in Calvinistic circles, in Holland and Scotland in particular, uh, a tendency to say, uh, that if you, if you express assurance of your salvation too soon, you know, before that faith has developed and grown and matured and before you've sensed something of the evil of sin and the wretchedness of your heart, um, that you're an immature Christian and that the mature Christian is the one who waits for assurance. In other words, that the ground of their assurance is the quality of their faith and their repentance, and that is a subtle form of bringing in works into salvation again. That answer was recorded live during a special Ask Ligonier event. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next live event.